I opened the template, the temp I showed you the template file, and I was showing you that I opened the file, and then I went to save it as a template. And I will explain why I like to use a template in this case. I did save as, and then here I chose the format that says cell macro enable template Excel TM. This is the format that I use here. When we do this, uh, Excel switches us to this folder by default, but then you can go and save it on another, any other folder you want, okay? And that's what we did. So I'm going to go back. We don't need to save this. This was the template that uh, I found on Microsoft's online templates collection. Okay, so now we are we are here on this template and we are going to explore it and see some of the things that we can improve to help us with our invoicing process. Before we do the changes, I would like to explain you if in case you, uh, you are not aware yet, how the template works. So when I saved it, if you take a look at here at the top, we see the file is name as, as a, that I gave to the file invoice template underscore live Excel TM. So this is my master copy of the template. If I close the file and go back to the folder where I have the file saved. The file is in here. If I double click to open the file, let's see what happens. When we look at here at the top, the name is not the same. It says invoice template underscore live, but then it doesn't give me the extension and it puts a one in the name. And what it means is that this file is not saved yet. If I go and choose to save, this will ask me how, where, and what the name is that I want to save the file. And if you see here, it's suggesting me XLSX, which is the regular extension for an Excel file. So what's, what we are doing is that uh, when we double click on template file, Excel file, we don't open the master file, we, we open a, a copy of that file meaning that any changes that we do there are not being saved on the master file. And then at the end, we are given the, the option of saving what we did or not. And then we can choose if we want to save it or not. So when can a template, an Excel template be useful? Every time you are in a situation where we have something, uh, an actual, what you call the template, something that you, can, you need to reuse over and over, you don't want to add information to it considering the previous times you use the file, you want to start fresh with that file again and maybe fill in some information into some of the fields. And then the next time you want to start with the file cleaned again. So that's when, that's when you may want to look at the option of using an Excel template. Also, another thing is that if different people need to use this template to, to repeat the same action, and they may need to use the file at the same time. This way you don't have the problem of one person having to wait for the other person if you are working, for example, on a server or on a shared uh, folder where you need to use separate copies of the file and one person doesn't have to wait for the other one. So this way, uh, every time someone does a double click to open the file, opens a fresh copy of that template, okay? So that's how, how we open a copy. But now you may say, okay, so, but if I want to do modifications in the master file, how do I open the file then? Because if I'm opening a copy and then it's not reflected on the main file. So to do that, one of the options is to come here, right click, instead of double clicking, right click and do open. Or I think if you open Excel first and then look for the file and open from Excel also works. So you see now here at the top, I can see that I am working with the actual template file. Okay.